Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going through an old futsal match of mine. This was when I played for Baldwin in Series Futsal Victoria. This is actually from the Foz Cup semi-final. I'm going to try and show you guys how I was using the skills and what I'm thinking of when I'm on the court because I think that will translate better and it'll show how the ball mastery, ground moves, the street skills, how that can apply to futsal game situation. The video is eight minutes long. Now, futsal game is 40 minutes, so I wasn't gonna go and talk over 40 minutes of a futsal match, yeah? So I've taken every one of my touches, all my possessions from the match. Anyway, let's get into it. So we're walking out. Now, uh, actually, before this game, so this is the Foz Cup, yeah? So futsal is cup, so this is the top uh, I think it's top five plus the one from the state league is what we used to do. I don't know if that's still the same, but uh, you can see there's a bit of a crowd there. Now this Pascaval side had just won the league. So this was a season I had moved midway from Pascaval to Baldwin. I wanted to get more game time. You know, Pascaval have a lot of players. You can see that um, from this video. At Baldwin we had a lot of players as well. Um, but you know, it was just time for a change. I've been at Pascaval for like a year. So, I went to Baldwin and Pascabella just won the league. Now, this was a very good team. This is a semi-final, so everyone is playing this to win. So this is the kickoff, start of the game, and I don't come on until about, I reckon, 14, 15 minutes, maybe into the match from what I can recall. And you can see there, like, the crowd. We had a lot of people that used to come watch these games. Um, when I say a lot, like, it's big games, you get maybe 200, 250, um, but most times we would have maybe 80 to 100 people in there. So here's where I come on. This is one of my first plays. I'm just uh, defending there, blocking. Yeah. Play and move. So I pass the ball, move forward. I was always very composed, always very composed with the ball. Here again. So Taka has the ball, but it's defending. Stand off, win the ball. Now you notice the court is also very small. So things happen very quickly in this match. A bit more defending there. You see here, the ball, if you don't have options on, play the keeper. I make a run and it's just over here a little bit. We have a free kick here. So again, this is all my possession. So I'm skipping through. You see here, we take the free kick. Now, we used to try and play a rotation in this team, so we'd always have one support. We'd always try and have one support, which you can see here. Yeah? Play, move, the support comes back around. Ball over top, doesn't make it to me. It's all right. On a small court, it's difficult to play this style. Good defending. Ooh. I remember that roulette. That roulette was nice. That was a good roulette. This game, uh, I played well in this game. I played well. I think I got, even though I played like only, I think maybe 15 minutes of this match, of, of the 40, uh, I ended up getting mad of the match for this game. The tackle, this is here, first spin, assist, that's a goal. Great finish. Ben Monteleone, excellent player, excellent player. Actually, to, to be honest and to be fair, like, most of the players in this league were, were quite capable. If they weren't capable technically, they were capable with uh, shooting or capable physically. Oh, it's a very physical league, uh, which made it super competitive. And the smaller court helped that. So nice finish from Ben there. So there we go. So 1-0, I came on. I don't know why it says 1-1 one, one up the top. 1-0, uh, I came on and um, made that little move, made the assist. I think this is the start of the second half. So start the second half, I'm not on. And then you see there now, I think I'm about to come on, or this is, this might be Pascal Bell's goal. Shot, yeah, follow up, very nice goal. Good player as well. I'm trying to think of his name again. Young player. Man, it's skipping my mind. But this, I train with this kid. Stefan Ristic, there we go. Stefan, very good player, very good player. I think he was playing for Melbourne Victory as well in the youth at some stage. Cool player, man, good skill, speed. He had it. He had a lot of good attributes. And here we are from the kickoff again. So now it's 1-1. One, one. 
I'm still not on, but I'm showing you this because uh, the, these were the goals from the match. So still 1-1, one, one. we have a side ball. Hey, this is, this is actually an unreal goal. <laughs> this is a nice goal. Andrea Zaccone, Zach. Oh man, I forget this goal. <laughs> oh, I didn't know this was in this match. So you see the ball comes across, he takes a touch. Hey, you could say that's a foul. And then he picks the ball up and throws it <laughs> into the bottom corner. <laughs> nice goal, great goal. Man. That's almost like a Blanco hop but on the floor. I think I've seen two people do that. Blanco, uh, Kayatomok, and um, Maradona. <laughs> and now Zach. Keep it throws ball out. I think that's... Uh, yeah, now I'm back on. Okay, cool. So keep his ball. Here we go. Start playing from the back. It's 2-1 to us. Yeah. Good bit of defending there. From Davide Jakovici. I was just there to help. Now, ball from the, down the line. Ball down the line from Davide Jakovici. Done the twister. Nutmeg. And the shot. My shot wasn't great. My I was off balance. So I put the shot into the into the floor, into the side netting. But even, even then, I should just try to fire it across the box. But it was in the moment, wasn't it? But here you can see, you know, I wasn't always looking for nutmegs. I wasn't um, looking to just do skills. But there I had the opportunity to But in that situation, I had the opportunity to do it. Now you see here, ball comes back to me. Now, I'm just going to pause there. Notice I didn't have the support. So you're going to see in the next frame that the supports were too, were too high. We were caught 2-2. Two, two. So there was myself. I was like in the middle. There was Davide, Jakovici. Um, we had our target. And then the second player should have kind of be more around. So we can play more like a diamond and then it's a bit of a 3-1. If we had this second player here, it would have given me another passing option. Davide was closed because he was closest man to the ball. So he was already pressed. When I was pressed, I had to try and find the target and you'll see what results from this. So target plays, I'm gonna make a tackle. I make another tackle. Um, we end up winning the ball back, I think. Yeah, it didn't result in anything, but to have that balance, where, where you can then uh, always have two passing options, always makes the game easier. Corner comes over, didn't result in anything. Uh, and then we have another corner, which then is 3-1, and uh, we're starting to stretch out. Now, I was taking off after this. So after it was 3-1, I came off. And you'll see in the next, uh, the next frame is basically them scoring. And I think, in fact, I'm just gonna pause there. I think we made the sub at the corner, which you should never do. <laughs> People know that, but these things happen, you know, these things happen. So you can see where our four players were standing. He was just, you know, this can happen to anyone. We didn't mark the guy at the back post and he ran through and scored an easy goal. So it was three, two. All right, we'll see what happens now. We're gonna see a, a replay, Ubedi Chiche. Good striker, good player. I don't think, this was, yeah, he, he played at Pasco, I think for maybe half a season or maybe a season. Good player though. Mate, to be honest, Steve was unlucky not to save that. Okay, and now, uh, yeah, Pascoval attacking. And this is like 45 minutes, so I think this is towards the end of the match now. Yeah, so, yeah, and there's a final goal. Davide Jakovici, very nice, 4-2. And that was pretty much how the game finished. There was no more goals, so, I remember this being 4-2. So, and of course, I've, I've cut everything up before this, but I left the, the last part of the game so we can see how it played out. But Pascoval, we're playing a fifth man. That's why you see the goalkeeper has the yellow shirt. And um, yeah, that's just like, you know, that's what happens is sometimes if you play fifth man, you make mistakes. The other team will get goals. Pasco did nearly come back. Good, great block there. It was Ben with a great block. I oh, had a chance here to score again as well. Oh. I don't know if that went over, I was a good save. But these are like the last moments of the match. So 4-2. And we finished out this game. Are you, so you can see, I didn't, look, I didn't play much in this match. But what I did, I, I made sure I had impact. And that was the end of the game. This is a little analysis of a semi-final. So this was a big game, this was a competitive game. I wanted to show you how I'm using the skills in the match 
how I'm making my decisions. So I'm always composed on the ball. And there was times where obviously you saw I gave the ball away when I tried to give it to target, but then I was back in defending. These things happen in the game. Let me know if you like this video, drop a like, drop a comment, make sure you're following on Instagram. That's where I leave all my latest information. I'll put it all in my stories. And until next time, make sure you're practicing, stay safe, stay healthy.